Master Dynamic is a relatively young company, but the rate at which they're releasing new products is steadily increasing. So today we're checking out the MW07 GO Truly Wireless Earbuds. Now, even though these earbuds do have a solid foundation to them, I just find it very hard to justify getting these Truly Wireless Earbuds over certain other Truly Wireless Earbuds that I've recently reviewed. Now, the MW07 GO is retailed for $200, which is definitely up there for these earbuds and their feature set. Now, if you're new here, if you're an iPhone user, then I highly recommend you go with the $160 AirPods 2. And if you're an Android user, then I highly recommend you go with the Jabra Elite 75Ts, which retail for $180. But regardless, if you want to pick up any of the earbuds mentioned in this video, they'll be linked down below. Now, first off, let's address the MW07 GO's carrying case. This carrying case is very similar to the Sennheiser Momentum Truly Wireless Earbuds case with its all fabric exterior. But ultimately, it doesn't feel as premium mainly because of its lid and how the earbuds themselves attach to the case. But that's completely okay. Now, regarding the size of this case, it's decently small and easy enough to store in your pocket, but it's noticeably larger and bulkier than the Jabra Elite 75T's case, AirPods Pro case, and AirPods case. But at least carrying this carrying case in your pocket isn't anywhere as near as noticeable as the Sony WF-1000XM3's carrying case. I mean, seriously, Sony really needs to shrink this carrying case down for the Sony WF-1000XM4's which probably won't come out until next year. But at the end of the day, I'm willing to give the MW07 GO's carrying case a pass, mainly because their battery life is fairly impressive for truly wireless earbuds. These earbuds have a combined advertised battery life of 22 hours, where the earbuds themselves can go for 10 straight hours and the case can supply an additional 12 hours of battery life. Now, a combined battery life of 22 hours is currently above average, because most other truly wireless earbuds have a combined battery life of around 15 hours with a similarly sized case. But the MW07 GOES are still a little behind the AirPods and Jabra Elite 75Ts because they have a combined battery life of 24 hours and 28 hours respectively. But overall, the MW07 GOES carrying case is decent. It's fairly durable, it's relatively small, they have an above average battery life, and they charge via a USB-C port, which is great for Android users. But now, let's talk about the earbuds themselves, because I really want to address the fit of these earbuds. Obviously, these are in-ear earbuds, but the diameter of these earbuds is pretty big. Normally, I'll use medium-sized ear tips, but with these, I gotta size down to the small ear tips. But with ear tip size aside, these earbuds actually fit pretty well. Even though these earbuds look pretty big, they're actually very lightweight and they do a very good job of staying in place thanks to their unique looking ear fins. Regarding tech specs, these earbuds are using Bluetooth 5.0, but more importantly, these earbuds are still using a Hero and Sidekick setup, which means if you just want to use one earbud at a time, you got to use the correct earbud. In this case, the right earbud. Now, this is unfortunate because more and more truly wireless earbuds these days are starting to use a dual connection setup where each earbud establishes a connection with your phone, which usually results in a more stable Bluetooth connection. And if you just want to use one earbud at a time, you can use either one. It really doesn't matter. Now, when it comes to latency on these earbuds, I did notice a slight latency across the board whenever watching videos on my Pixel 4 XL when Aptex was turned on. But that latency went away as soon as I turned off Aptex. Whereas with an iPhone, these earbuds have zero latency across the board because these earbuds revert back to SBC because they don't have any AAC support. So if you're watching videos on an Android device and if you see a slight latency, just turn off Aptex and that should fix it. Now, when it comes to listening to music with these earbuds, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of their sound signature. Now, I will admit that the bass on these earbuds is very tight and the sound stage on these earbuds is impressive. But I can't help but feel that the mids and vocals are a little pushed back. I just wish these earbuds had a companion app so that I could directly change their EQ but instead, I gotta use a third party app. Now with the correct EQ, these earbuds do sound noticeably better than AirPods, which isn't all that hard to do, 
but I wouldn't say that these earbuds sound all that much better than the Jabra Elite 75Ts. Now, when it comes to the media control buttons on these earbuds, they definitely get the job done. Each earbud has easy to find and easy to tell apart buttons. The rocker on the left earbud allows you to adjust your volume without having to take your phone out of your pocket, and you can skip through your music with the other earbud. So no complaints here on that front. But I can't help but point out two key features that are missing on these earbuds, and that's proximity sensors and an ambient mode. Proximity sensors are a pretty standard issue with earbuds these days, and they're very useful for when people walk up to you and start up a conversation, and having an ambient mode on earbuds and headphones is very important for constant commuters so that you can still be aware of your surroundings when you're walking around the city. So when you're paying $200 for a pair of truly wireless earbuds that are missing proximity sensors, an ambient mode, a companion app, and are still using a hero and sidekick setup, I can't help but feel that these earbuds are overpriced. And finally, there's the microphone on these earbuds, which just have a lot of static to them. So personally, I just want to take phone calls with these earbuds. So overall, like I said, I think the MW07 GOES have a good foundation to them, but I personally find it very hard to justify spending $200 on these earbuds. Overall, the build quality on these earbuds is great, their carrying case is decent, and they have an above average battery life. But not having a companion app so that you can directly adjust your EQ, not having proximity sensors, not having an ambient mode, and still using a hero and sidekick setup just make it very hard for these earbuds to compete against the recently released truly wireless earbuds from larger companies. But I'm not really going to blame Master and Dynamic, I'm just going to wait and see at how they continue to evolve. But for right now, if you're in the market looking for a pair of truly wireless earbuds, if you're an Android user, you can't go wrong with the Jabra Elite 75Ts, and if you're an iPhone user, your two best options are still AirPods or AirPods Pro. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video, so hit that like button and get subscribed. It helps out more than you realize. If you want to pick any of the products up mentioned in this video, those will be linked in the description down below, and you can also support the channel by checking out the merch store. But other than that, I'll catch you next time.